So I just did a video for the unboxing of the 1 6 scale figure environment, which is the Cobra Throne. And now I'm going to go on to actually taking the item out of its inner box. So it's kind of nice. They put um, no tape on this, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, but I still am always nervous about opening these because you can rip them rather easy. But anyway, so there, and that's really nice to see. I'm assuming this stands for quality check passed. And again, styrofoam, maybe not so good for the environment, so I apologize for that. But, you know, trying to keep these things um, as good and perfect, hopefully, you know, there's so far there's no way around it that I know of. And again, I'm trying to lift this up with one hand, and I am struggling with it because, again, I think this probably weighs like 10 to 15 pounds, if not more. I wish I had a scale working that I could actually weigh it. Again, awesome, I think, again, that they tape this so you don't have to worry about, as you're taking it out of the box, it falling out. So I'm going to have to, unfortunately, put the camera down for a while here because i got to get an actual knife for this part. All right, move this big box, and again, I'm out on my kitchen table because, you know, with all this stuff, there's just no room to do this in a small room, in my opinion. So we're just going to cut around the tape here. Hopefully not going to do any damage to the actual um, item inside, because that would just not be good, of course. So I'm not pushing the knife all the way through. I'm using as little of the tip as possible, just in case, you know. Because I also got the back pod for the 1.6 Hot Wheel, not Hot Wheel, Hot Toys, and that one I had a little bit harder time unboxing, and I actually ruined the box. So it kind of makes sense that this is in two pieces. Um, because it looks like, and again, I'm sorry if you can't see it in the video, because again, I don't, I'm not looking through the viewfinder right now. It looks like this part right here is the Cobra throne, and the part that I'm bringing down right here is the actual base, and I think that's where most of the weight is coming from is the actual thing. So we're cutting along the tape again here. It's got this part right here. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, I'm trying to be careful again. I'm touching right under the teeth. Don't want to break off the teeth. So again, they've got it wrapped in plastic again. So that's cool. I'm going to come around and try and see what I'm filming. So, love that, you know, protective. So, yeah, it looks like, you know, unfortunately it is all one um, piece. You know, I would have liked if this would have been cushioned, but it's actually all one hard piece. Um, pick up the camera again to show you. You know, so you can't push down. It's all one piece. Nice teeth right there. Too bad they weren't able to put any uh, bottom teeth, but maybe that doesn't really matter to anyone else. Little scales all around this thing. Try not to drop this thing. Then they also sculpted some faces right here, pretty much only difference I think between the head and this is they don't really paint the eyes um, like up here they're painted down here they're not but they did sculpt the little teeth right there same thing on the other side alright so hopefully I showed off enough of that 
Got to put the camera down again. And we'll move on to the actual base. Now I did already see this on one of the websites that the base is actually um, magnetic, I believe. And yeah, again, that's where most of the weight is coming from. So maybe this part weighs 10 pounds or so. And it does say fragile. And so we'll try and make sure I'm showing. You're going to have to cut this tape and this tape right there. Sorry, Dan, I don't have it on camera to be able to do that. And very nice again. I almost did it all without showing you, but this time they put like a little uh, cloth um, on it. Like that they gave it another box. I don't know why this one person did it, but just because they did it. Um, I won't show what number it is, but it is only 750 of these were made, supposedly. So I don't know why that matters or not. Um, I don't know if people get upset. You know, like, hey, no fair, mine is number blah, 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 and you got a better number, and I ordered it before you. I don't know why the other viewer didn't um, film it. Anyway, so here's the actual base. Hopefully the lighting isn't too bad and you can see all that. So it's all one piece again, pretty much. Um, you know, this ain't a real cloth or anything. But these are 3D. I'm not sure what you would call these. And they are kind of sharp. And it is just so heavy. <laughs> Can't uh, say too much about the weight of this thing, the actual base. And then you take this, and you can actually feel it. You know, like right now, there is a magnet. And if you can see that, I'm not really even putting it down, and it's kind of throwing my hand down. But that, I think, is pretty cool. You know, it keeps it in place. So, can't do it right now. Um, once I post these and I uh, go to work and all that, then I'll come back and I'll show the, how they sort of have it on the box with my other figures. Alright, thanks for watching and we'll see you later. Alright, bye.